friends, it's Jaden and the six theme on Seven Perfect Angels is freestyle. Today I'm going to be doing three holiday slash Christmas DIYs and I chose fairly simple DIYs so pretty much anyone could be able to do them. I made a snow globe, I'm going to be making these cute little Santa snacks and this sugar scrub. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first DIY that I'm going to be making is similar to a snow globe, except it's not going to have any water, so it's just going to be like a cute decoration that you can put around your house or something. So what you'll need is a ornament or something of your choice that will go inside of the jar that you want inside of your snow globe. And then you'll need to find a jar that will fit your ornament. So I had to go for a bigger jar because this ornament is kind of wide. And then you're going to be needing a bunch of glitter for the snow. You'll also need a hot glue gun, but make sure you have parental supervision when using a hot glue gun because they can be very, very hot. As you can see, I have a few different variety of ornaments, so I'm going to be making two snow globes today. So let's get started. Like I said earlier, I just went through the ornament section at the store and I found this one that I liked and I'm going to now snip the string off so it doesn't hang while it's in the snow globe. Now we are going to untwist the lid and we are going to glue the ornament to the lid so when you put it in it will be like this. You want it to have a relatively flat bottom so it can be glued easiest. We are actually almost done with this DIY. This is fairly simple. So finally we are just going to pour some of the glitter into the bottom of the jar that we are using. So when we put the ornament on and we flip it over, all the snow will come falling down. If you wanted to go for like a harder, more festive one, you could glue some glitter to the side so it would kind of be like snow is everywhere. But I'm just going for an easier route, so I'm just going to pour it in the bottom. The next step is to put your lid back onto the jar so your ornament will look upside down but you just want to like maneuver the ornament lid on just to make sure that it stays. Three, two, one. Now I'm just going to kind of shake the jar around because as you can see the snow is sticking to the sides by like static electricity so I'm just going to move it all around so some of it sticks and voila! The snow is stuck to the sides of the jar, so you don't necessarily need glue, it's just to ensure that the snow will stay on the jar, but I think this is pretty good, at least temporarily. So, pretty happy with this snow globe. And the final step is completely optional, but I decided that I wanted to line the lid of the jar with some festive, Christmassy, like, ribbon tape stuff. So I'm going to put this all around here to make it more festive. This first DIY was really easy and I think it turned out really cute and it actually only took me like five minutes to make so it's really really easy. Now I'm going to make my second globe. I'm going to be making a super healthy and yummy snack that you can make just at home or you can bring to a holiday party if you'd like. But basically, I'm gonna show you. It's like Santa head and the hat and the little pom pom on the top. So we just have some fresh fruit here and we are going to make them with toothpicks. So we're going to start with a marshmallow on the top and I like using the flat part for the marshmallow just because you don't you know, like hurt yourself. And then you take a strawberry and you wanna use the pointy side to go this way. And then you'll use a banana for the rim of the hat. And then you might have to squish them together depending on the size of toothpicks you have. So I'm gonna look for a shorter grape. And then you'll have 
the head. So it's just like a Santa head and hat, and it's really cute and really yummy. So I'm going to just keep making these. Ta-da! A cute, simple, and healthy holiday snack. This final DIY really only calls for two main ingredients, but there are optional things you can also throw in. The main ingredients are two cups of plain white sugar, and the recipe does call for a quarter cup of coconut oil, but depending on the consistency that you like, you can add more or less, but I'm just sticking with a quarter cup. The optional things you can add in are red food coloring, and you can add like essential oils. A peppermint would be really cool for Christmas, but I'm just going to stick to the basics and not use any essential oil. So you're going to add the coconut into the sugar. Since this is a scrub, it's not like it's going to be bad or anything. You just need to combine both ingredients together. Now that I have reached the consistency that I like for my scrub, I'm going to separate it into another bowl. So I'm going to have half in this bowl, half in the other bowl. So I can put red food coloring in this one and just leave the other one so it can be white and red so it gives it a more festive look. So I'm just going to split it. Make sure to start with only a few drops of the food coloring and after you mix it, if you still think it's too light, you can add more. But obviously start light so it doesn't get too dark. I did end up adding a few extra drops of food coloring just because I wanted it to be more of a darker reddish pink and now that it is the color that I want I'm going to layer it in this little jar so I'm going to do red white red white so it's like two layers of each color and it gives it a candy cane look so I'm just going to use my hands for this part because it's easier and I'm going to try and pack it down as much as I can so I can get as much of it in there Since I am going to be giving this as a gift, I'm once again going to be decorating the rim and I'm going to be adding this cute little gift tag on it. So I'm just going to tape the rim around the jar. And voila, it's complete. This sugar scrub is a great gift for friends, family, or even yourself. The sugar scrub can be used to exfoliate your hands, body, face, whatever you'd like to use it for. And I just think it's really cute and I'm really excited to give this to somebody. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. For a chance of a shout out in next week's video, comment down below either which one was your favorite or if you are planning on making any of these projects. Bye! See you guys next week!